The wind played a little bit of a havoc on that ball out there. It's kind of picking up a little bit. Had Redford on the mind because he's up right now. And his dad's a very close friend of mine, Redford. Pete Redford, a former major leaguer who may be dropping by the booth a little later. Played for the Minnesota Twins. And Chad is something. He's special. 429 hitter. Chad looks at a strike from Manny Flores. He's got the best outfield arm in the valley. This kid has a cannon. He's a great hitter. He's being recruited by several schools. His dad went to USC, and I know they're looking at him. Cal State Northridge, one of their coaches in the stands, Jamie Nelson looking at him tonight. After the Major League draft yesterday, a lot of scholarships are going to be open and available again, aren't they? Exactly. There are going to be a few guys signing, so there will be more opportunities for you to go to big schools. There's a pitch wide, way outside. Redfern looks at it, two and one the count. Chad's been fighting injuries all season long. He's had a, a few problems, a shoulder, ankle, groin, leg, and wrist. Matter of fact, for the last three weeks, he's had a, a, a small fracture in one of his wrists, and he's still out there, and you can't get him out of the lineup. He's hit five home runs this year and driven in 24. He bats sixth, and he was batting fourth, but they pushed him down a little bit just so he may get one or two less at bats uh, in a game so he can protect that risk. There's a called strike on Redfern, three and two now, a full count on the senior from Chatsworth High School. Great pitch by Manny Flores. He had 3-1, he's throwing a breaking ball. I'll tell you, he's got a lot of confidence in it. Redfern, very intense young man, as is Flores. There's a pitch, and Redford's going to single up the middle right in front of George Felix. Pretty good piece of hitting there, Pro. It was, it was down. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure they put the ball in play. You don't want to walk hitters. And uh, you, know, you just put down a good piece of hitting. you got to tip your hat. All right. Now Matt Castle, Cassell. Matt's a pretty good quarterback when he's not DHing for this team. He has a ton of power. He hits 390. You know, they moved into DH, and you think, you know, quarterback, or maybe a pitcher. There's a throw to first, Redford in easily. But he injured his arm, I believe, uh, earlier in the season, so they just DH him right now to protect that arm. That's surprising. Quarterback, you, usually, you, know, you figure he's got a great arm, but uh, yeah, this is the time when you just got to protect the guy. I think. Uh, there's a shot to left over the outstretched hands of the shortstop. Redfern won't go past second. John Manuel went high to try and pull that in, but nice hitting as Chatsworth has something going. Two runners on here in the bottom of the second, only one out as Manny Flores throws up a pitch that, tell you what, they keep the ball in the infield on the ground and decide so to go out there and make those plays. Chad Redfern. He singled in his last at bat, and he ended up scoring. Redfern, a senior, being recruited, as I pointed out. USC, Michigan, Arkansas, Mississippi, UCSB, San Diego State. Northridge is looking at him. This guy is, uh, there was an article in the Daily News, no offense, Eric Sondheimer, an article in Daily News that said, this guy floats in center field like Joe DiMaggio. What a tribute to this young man. And he also swings a pretty good bat as he fouls one off. and. The count goes to one and two. That is a, a heck of a shoot. That's a big shoes to fill. Yeah, that's some kind of a good feeling when you're compared to somebody as good as he was. And, uh, and from what I could see, and even before the game in the pregame, it was a great arm, goes, goes hard after every ball. Redford now over the 430 mark in hitting this year. He gets ready to go. You know, I'm surprised I don't see any more long sleeves on some of these kids because it is so cold out here. Boy, that's a great pitch, and Chetford, Chad Redfern stunned as he goes, no, I don't, I don't think, I looked outside, let the umpire know that. He's a bunny. Like Chuck Swall, Tom Musborn, just so technically sound. These coaches teach the fundamentals, and, you know, a lot of times when you get into the high school ranks, you don't know really what kind of coach you're getting. These guys are true baseball men, both of them. As Chad Redfern comes to the plate, Chad has singled and struck out so far tonight. I know his proud papa's sitting here in the stands freezing. When Chad struck out, I don't think 
I don't care if it was below zero. He was a little hot. He's a competitor. Yeah, he wants to go out there and, and do the best he can here, especially in a big game like this. All right, 1-0 and against Mo Regano. Chad Redfern up, the senior. Ball two, low. You know, I hate, I hate to admit this, because you kind of admit your age, but Chad Redfern, about a foot shorter, when his dad was the pitching coach at the Masters College, I actually got in his cage and threw BP to him, and he wouldn't let me out of there for an hour. I threw, I must have thrown 300 balls. I almost fell off, and he just kept pounding them. That's the kind of work ethic he has. That pitch is, boy, just misses outside. 3-0 to Redford. Providing a big inning situation here again. Just uh, you know, you want to go out there and be aggressive. If they score a run, fine. Try to get a double play, and this game's still tied. But if you walk guys, you're just going to put yourself in a big inning situation. Most of these kids play baseball year-round, Mark, as opposed to uh, certainly when I was younger and when you were younger. There's a walk, but bases are full, no one out. As the momentum has shifted all the way back to that dugout, the Dodgers play for Polytech High in the championship. And what, what year was that? 92. 92, yeah. So what must be going through their minds right now? Right now they're very excited, but uh, they still got to keep their poise and they got a job to do. They still got to throw the ball, catch it, and hit it, and hopefully at the end uh, it'll go their way. All right. Well, uh, enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks for joining us. All right, Gary, Mark, let's take it back to you. Man, he hits one up the middle. Redfern backs up and then comes in, makes it look easy. For the third out of the inning, and that'll do it. Chatsworth 10, Poly 7. You're watching City Championship Baseball. Redfern's ready. Ball's inside. Three and one. Now Chad's got probably take his pick here. He'll probably get a pitch that he really likes. Yeah, he's going to be looking for a ball out over the plate so he can drive it and see if he can get both guys home. If you're wondering about Chad's power, he does have pop in his bat. He's hit five home runs, the team captain here with the Chancellor. And Chad <laughs> never, never expected the expected, I guess, because that was a great breaking ball that Chad kind of looked at. He, he wanted his pitch anyway. At exactly. I mean, if you're going to throw a breaking ball there, you're just going to take it. So, uh, I mean, it's a lot of confidence for Mo to be able to throw a breaking ball 3-1. Catcher lines up outside, and Mo looks back to second. Oh, the rain has stopped. So we're not going to get any snow. There's the pitch. Redfern, he'll get a single, and a run will score. Vector on his way to third. Chad Redfern takes second and a heads-up play. He just kept going, and I think he's made amends as he gives Chatsworth their 11th run of the game, a headsy, headsy play by the senior, Chad Redfern, as he legs it out to second. This is he has great baseball instincts. He knew right away there would, there could be a play at the plate, so he was already taking the extra base, hit that ball well. Another breaking ball. He just, just came, stayed right down on it. Hit it real hard through the hole there between third and short. And uh, he gets this aggressive. Run scores and he's able to get the, uh, second base. So he's still got second. It's just keep on coming and Dick Clark's not even here. Exactly. I'll tell you, they're, uh, they're just swinging the bats extremely well right now. You are impressed, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'll tell you, I knew they were good. But uh, they're very impressive. Fly ball to right field and... That ball is thrown in, and in comes another run scoring. And they mercy him. Well, that's a great feeling, I'll tell you right there. That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. The mercy rule comes into effect in the bottom of the sixth inning. Chatsworth has won their second city title here at Dodger Stadium, the final 17-7. And you can feel the excitement up here in the booth. There's nothing better than being able to dive on a pile.